Hey there everyone, it's Chris Egan here and in this uh, brief demonstration we're going to take you through uh, some of the things that you can do with the social back office. Uh, one or two people have asked about having uh, different uh, uh, layouts to the reports. Uh, it will become apparent during this demonstration that's possible uh, because here we're using uh, the social back office logo as our business profile but we can add more than one business profile. Now we've just got one loaded in this case uh, but if we had two loaded or three or four then it would use whatever details we add here for the address, the email and the contact telephone number and our logo graphic and uh, that would basically just load whichever profile uh, we had saved then uh, when you launch the software and have set up the profile or profiles that you want to use you go to the client prospect details tab and here you can add clients you can delete clients uh, you can add URLs to the client uh, name uh, so here let's just use a dummy account name that we've set up and we've added a couple of URLs let's go ahead and create a visibility report and uh, the, the other question uh, that came through uh, was uh, whether the software does the work for you and it certainly does as you can see it's checked it's found a Twitter account it's found a Facebook account it's found a LinkedIn account what's more than that it's found out how many followers uh, the account has how many fans uh, the Facebook account has and any connections that the LinkedIn account has the software also uh, checks the website uh, for the company and extracts the keywords and uh, we could use these to check for additional accounts with Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn and YouTube. In this case what we're going to do is uh, just uh, deselect them all and uh, we're going to ask the software to check for some of these combinations. and uh, we'll let the software start checking those and uh, what it does is it checks with Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn and YouTube if those account names are available and uh, it will add that information into the report that we could then use uh, to attract the client to our business and our services. So it's finished doing that if we go to edit reports we can see here is the basic layout of the report uh, we've got the, the details in of uh, how many followers and fans, uh, connections, whether the account was found or not. And then we've got these uh, social media accounts available, yes or no. Uh, obviously in our, in our report we can add what are our recommendations, whether we recommend that we go and register those accounts with the client, whether we want to give them an initial consultation, uh, whatever it happens to be. Uh, basically we can uh, add and edit this report as we want and then we can uh, we can print it into a PDF format so that we can send it as an email attachment and uh, that's how easy the software is and you can do this time after time after time you can uh, for example here maybe we don't want to show the uh, uh, the time that it was sent at uh, maybe we want to change uh, the formatting of the the text here. We want to have it in bold. No problem. You just edit, uh, and then when you're happy with what you've got, uh, you can even paste in here into this uh, uh, report. You can paste in additional information, uh, maybe your price list, whatever it is you want to add, your closing statements, your pitch for why you can help that client and then basically you, you print it out as a PDF, it will save the file to PDF. If you want to control how the file looks you can uh, see the print preview option and this shows you where the page break appears. So if you want to control that you can go back into the document. Uh, in this case it would be no problem because it finishes uh, just where we would want it but we could go back to the document here and uh, we could drop the page break in and uh, that block will tell the PDF uh, driver to make a page break there and then we could add in our new content here.
and uh, and that's it for creating reports as we said you can edit them you can uh, change size of logo and so forth uh, everything can be done in the software or you can copy all of this and you could open word and uh, drop the report into word and then manipulate it as you want it there uh, let's say that we've moved on from that we've now gained uh, the client and uh, we've gained them for this site and uh, so we now want to set up uh, the tasks that we're going to do for them we just add a new task here we give it a task name let's say we've agreed to get a hundred Twitter followers a week and we just save that task so the task is added and it shows up here of course we've got to do the task today uh, but then the next date would be the 14th of December there is also a task uh, manager report uh, option and uh, here we can see for example the different tasks that we have to do when we start the next date the task name and so forth we can actually print uh, a report mm, for example if we wanted to just select uh, a client based report uh, which we could then use as an invoice um, then we just uh, select the client name we go to edit report this is going to tell us that uh, it's going to change this document uh, so we want to discard uh, we've now got our new document uh, created and here's our task uh, and so we could just turn this into an invoice simply by deleting a few things and adding in uh, up here an invoice number make that bold change the font uh, and there you go and we've got our invoice ready to go we can print that as a PDF or again we can uh, copy and paste that directly into email we can add text at the end uh, whatever we need to do we can create it here in the software and the final tab is uh, the back office options uh, just at this point in time we've just got some uh, color schemes that you can apply to change the look and feel of the software as you can see just uh, selecting the different options changes its appearance and uh, that's it in a nutshell the software is unique it's going to help you manage uh, your business it's going to help you manage your tasks you can go to the task manager and see what tasks you need to do uh, during a particular time uh, you can uh, edit that report print it send it to outsourcers uh, and you can manage and grow your social media marketing business and uh, you can do it all from within this software uh, we do plan some updates to the software over the coming weeks and months uh, they'll all be free and uh, we'll continue to maintain and develop the software uh, so that we can keep you ahead in the social media marketing game